I'm going to attempt to crochet a skirt in 48 hours today. We are going to use the pa this this pattern, this beautiful pattern right here from Made by Asia. And oh my god, I hope I pronounced your name right. Um, <laughs> off to a great start again. This is the skirt I will be making in the next two days. And now you might be asking, why exactly are you trying to make this in 48 hours? To which I would say that is a very good question. But um, uh, uh, life need some challenges sometimes, right? Yes, I'm already regretting this. Um, yarn. I did manage to get hold of the exact yarn that is used in the pattern, but of course I had to buy it in green because if there's even the slightest chance of continuing my slow transformation into a forest goblin, then of course I will take it. So I got some nice moss green and I'm very excited because I love skirts and I don't have enough skirts. I'm currently sewing two skirts for myself. And now I'm also making this. I've been wanting to crochet a skirt for like a very long time. Only I came to the very intelligent idea that I want to do it in 48 hours because I was like, you already made five crochet videos. So um, now it's got to be something different. So um, we have a deadline today. <laughs> it is currently 10 56 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. So I have to finish this. I'm going to start it. Let's, I'm just going to start in four minutes when it's 11 a.m. So this should be finished by Thursday, 11 a.m. I am also going to set a timer to see how many hours I am actually working on this. So if I do not manage to finish this on Thursday, 11 a.m., then um, at least maybe I can finish it within actual 48 hours of actual working. We will see, but I will try. I've committed my life to crocheting a few times now before, so let's get started. You can find the pattern right here on this website. Uh, this is her Instagram. Go definitely check it out. Very cool other patterns over there. You can also find the link in the description. And now it is 11 a.m. So I am going to start crocheting now and I'm going to do the beginning on my own real quick because it involves counting. And if I like try to communicate with you guys and count at the same time, then I won't even be able to count to three correctly. So see you in a second once I've done the, the first row. Speed run, let's go. The plus side of setting a probably very unrealistic goal like this is that at least I will have the skirt finished very fast and then I can wear it and feel like a little forest fairy and the dance in a flower meadow. Yes, gonna count now. Please uh, do not distract me. Counting is hard enough on its own. <laughs> One, two, three. 73 quintillion, 786 quadrillion, 976 trillion, 294 billion, 838 million, 206,464. I have a very long yarn spaghetti now. And oh my God, I'm already so excited. Look at the green. It's green and it's nice. Okay, now I have to, um, yeah, what do you say to, to, to my skirt? Um, it's beautiful, right? Anyone wants the pattern for, for a yarn spaghetti? <laughs> Quit messing around me. Um, you only have limited amount of time. I now have to close this to a ring and I have to pay attention that I don't twist the chain. So let's not twist again like we did last summer. I think this this might just be the most tricky part. Let me figure this out. Modern problems require stupid solutions. Please do not mind the seats on the floor. I literally vacuumed my room five minutes ago, but these guys are conspiring against me. Okay, first row, success. Let the speedrun continue. Okay, first real row is done now. This took me about two hours with, uh, I had to take a quick little break because my cat was screaming for attention and I had to pet her. But yeah, at this rate, 48 hours, maybe a little too optimistic, but we are crocheting the skirt from the bottom up. So the rows will get shorter. So maybe we do have a chance. I'm still regretting my life choices, but that's beside the point. Okay, um, let's continue. Oh my god, I am I am such an idiot. What is this? <laughs> there is a twist in the chain. No. Why? How? How did I manage to do that? I checked the ring when I closed it. Again, seats on the floor. Don't mind them, please. I checked the ring when I closed it. I checked after the first row and a 
apparently I didn't do a very good job with that because no there's a twist in here. So that means I have to open this up again. Oh no, oh no, about, I don't know, four hours of work for nothing. Well, okay, I'm going to cry real quick. Then I'm going to undo all of my progress and then... <laughs> And then I'm going to start again. And then I'm also, I think, going to start the timer again. Because I basically did nothing in the past four hours. Okay, gotta go in, in, into my little shame corner now. See you once I am at this point again without a twist in the ring. Okay, I'm back at the point where I was a few hours ago. Uh, sorry for the bad lighting and I also have to talk a bit quietly because my little birdies are sleeping or kind of they are falling asleep right now. But it's not dark enough yet that I can put the blanket on their cage. So I'm, j I'm just trying to not wake them up a bit. I did it. Um, it's already evening because for mental health reasons, after I undid my four hours of work, I um, went to see my little horses. Now, one, one of my horses is a drug addict and he had to get his daily fix, by which I mean that he's currently on medication, so I had to go anyways. But it, it, it was a, a, a nice break. But now I'm back with new energy. I'm back at the, the point where I was when, when I realized that I did a little mistake. The new starting time is now Tuesday 7 p.m. So I need to finish this by Thursday 7 p.m. in order to reach my 48 hour goal. On to the next row. It should be smooth sailing from here on, I hope. This had nothing to do with the instructions. The instructions are very clear and very easy to understand, in my opinion. I'm just an idiot. So that that was my bad. Totally on me, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's okay now. Quick time update, it is now almost midnight. My little green yarn spaghetti has turned into this and it's looking really nice. I'm already so excited to wear this. But I have just realized that I have made another grave mistake. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't even know why I even expect anything else from me. The chaos never stops and it never will stop, apparently. What did I think? I did nothing wrong with the skirt, but I did miscalculate the, the yarn I need because for some reason I thought these were 100 grams but they're only 50 so I only ordered half of the yarn that I need because nothing going on up here apparently. So I've just ordered the rest of the yarn that I need but unless the postal service is also in speedrun mode then I doubt that this will arrive in time. I'm still going to, to try to finish this as fast as possible. Right now I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to, to pull an all-nighter. I didn't do that when I was like 16 to 18 and I'm not going to start doing that now. So I'll see you in the morning. I'll still speedrun this and then I will maybe take a little break when I have to wait for the rest of the yarn to arrive. <laughs> Why am I like this? Someone, please tell me. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. Can you tell that I'm losing my mind? Good morning. Have you enjoyed w watching my failures so far? I'm sure you have. I have decided that I am going to count the actual hours that I've been working on this skirt. So the little timer that I've set on my phone. Right now we're at four and a half hours. I'm still going to stick to the 48 hours, even though I think 48 actual working hours might be a little bit too much for it to be an actual challenge. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know how long things take. So 48 hours it is. The yarn will probably be on its way today. But look, now I can show you in actual good lighting. Look how it looks right now. It's already so cute. Oh my god. That's why I also just still want to finish this as fast as I can because I want to wear this. My little green snake. So the speed run kind of continues. Obligatory bird content. Very nice. Okay, quick time and progress check. It is right now Wednesday, almost 11 p.m. This is how the skirt looks right now. I've been working on it for 12 hours and I'm just gonna say there's 
no way I would have made this within 48 hours. Maybe it's a good thing that I didn't order the right amount of yarn because now we can just pretend that counting the actual working hours was my plan from the beginning. And in case you heard me say anything else, then um, you're wrong. You remember incorrectly. I am gaslighting you. You have been gaslit. Last ball of yarn for now. Okay, 18 hours and this much progress in and I am now out of yarn. The new yarn is supposed to arrive on Saturday, which is a little bit later than I hope. But every time I get kind of annoyed that my package isn't arriving literally five seconds after I place the order, I try to remind myself that this world doesn't need to get faster and faster. Postal service, little bringers of goods. It's okay, you can chill. I've got time. We've all got time. There's no need for stress. However, that gives me time to tell you about a few of my other favorite designs from Asia. Because because if you're anything like me, then you are always looking for new crochet patterns. I have a list of like 847 patterns that I want to make, but I still always need more. So that someday I will probably have to kidnap a mermaid and find the fountain of youth to be able to crochet them all. But hey, if that's what it takes. <laughs> okay, here's a quick list of my favorites. I definitely still want to make all of these in the future. Quick list. Kofuku cardigan, chinchilla vest, this skirt, all right, yeah, obviously I'm making that right now. Pineapple women dress, summer wave skirt marigold poncho and wind blowing color these are all my favorites definitely want to make them all again link is in the description you can all find them there or you can just look at the website look through the patterns yourself i'm sure you will find something that you like go show some love and now this is my time travel machine let's let's time travel to the future technology crazy thing yarn is here that means i can now continue which i'm very happy about because i want this skirt finished now i want to wear it i'm so excited okay let's get the timer going again there it is and now that was some speedrun crocheting you just witnessed. I just did like 500 stitches and you didn't even see because I was so damn fast. I hit the 24 hour mark. Oh my God. Progress check. Look how cool this looks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm getting more and more excited the more progress I make. I just want to wear this now. Oh my God, so cool. Thirty-five hours in, the skirt is almost finished. Now there are only two steps left to do, and the first one is to attach this elastic because this skirt uses an elastic, which I love because I always just prefer skirts with like an elastic waistband because I am thin. My body is this shape of a stick. I, I've always had the tendency to be a little bit underweight uh, most of my life. So all the skirts with the zipper that, that I bought, I had to change to, with, with a sewing machine to fit me. And then they also just fit me maybe in the evening when I've eaten something, but they don't fit me in the morning. So don't like that. I love skirts with an elastic waistband. So now I gotta put that in there. And there's no, no sewing in, involved, by the way. You just crochet it in there very easily. So that's that's very nice. Let's, let's do that now. I'm so excited to finally wear this soon. It's the coldest hand to run down this land Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound the damn smallest crowd but the hearts break loud Elastic check. Now, last step, and then I also, of course, have to get rid of these little guys. But first of all, the bottom of the skirt isn't done yet. There's still something missing. Some little wavy waves. And then these guys, and then it's done and I can finally wear it. So excited. Okay, very close to the finish line. Let us go. Stop. 
Stop the clock. Stop the count. It is done. We got a crochet skirt. How cool is that? 40 hours. Almost exactly. I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. I did get a lot closer to the 48 working hours than I thought I would. I thought I would need less hours, definitely. But then again, I am also notoriously known for underestimating how long things take. The time police knows of me. They have wanted pictures of me in their office buildings that are located under the city of New York. But yeah, I mean, 40 hours and now I have a self-made, handmade crochet skirt. That is really cool, I think. I think that's, that's really nice. That's... Ooh, we do like that. So, what is the only thing left to do? You know what time it is. It is reveal time. Okay, I'm falling. I'm very excited about this skirt. As I said before, I've been wanting to crochet a skirt for a quite a long time now. And now I have one and it's, it, it looks so cool. It looks so nice, so beautiful. I love it. What do you think? Like with all my crochet and knit pieces, I now never want to take this off again. So that one day I look like the marshmallow man from Ghostbusters, only that my body is made out of yarn. Should I ever vanish from this world? Um, you can go look for me in a forest and you have to look for a yarn monster. The locals will tell stories about me. But yes, before before my bird again starts to sing his beautiful songs, thank you so much for watching, as always. It always means so much to me when you watch my videos, you, you like my videos and you write nice comments and you guys are very cool. Thank you so much. Again, check out Made by Asia on Instagram and this link or the links in the description and uh, I'm very excited about this skirt. I, I love it. I am going to wear this now every day with all my other crochet pieces together and then I'm going to look like an insane person. Okay, see you next video. Goodbye.